Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I just want to raise awareness for your safety. And we've been experiencing a lot of phantom breaking with our latest firmware update, at least the last two. We're currently on 2020.32.3, again, 2020.32.3. And if you're not familiar with phantom breaking, it's when you're on autopilot, whether autopilot with no full self-driving or no enhanced autopilot. Phantom breaking is when it applies brake and deaccelerate your vehicle for no particular reason, no object in front of you, but it's detecting there potentially could be a collision. So there's been debate whether that is a confusion of autopilot seeing the overpass or the bridge as an obstacle, or there potentially could be some hindering when sunlight hits it. In this case, we're driving in the evening and the sunlight is directly hitting us in front. For a driver, you know that it's definitely difficult to drive in those conditions. Visibility is to the minimum. Sometimes you can't even see the lane. If you're driving on a road where the lane markings is similar to the concrete, so it's better on tarmac detecting lanes, but there's been cases where autopilot would give us audio warning and tell us to take over. Now, I'm sharing this not to bash on autopilot, but just so that for those new owners or potential owners, just be aware it's nowhere near full self-driving. I know they keep claiming that they're getting there, but they've been saying that for the last five years. So we'll see what happens. I wanted to inform everyone to be careful when you're using autopilot and when you experience phantom braking, don't apply additional brake to disengage autopilot. Because if there's a vehicle behind you, you might get rear-ended or you might cause a pileup or a collision or even worse, if somebody uh, tells swipe you trying to avoid you, you could spin out. With that said, you want to be able to understand how to cancel autopilot. At least your reflex is to use the column in the Model 3 and Y, use the drive column. In the Model X and S, you use the cruise control column. You push it forward and then you can cancel it. Um, by moving the steering wheel, you won't disengage the acceleration and deacceleration or uh, braking, emergency braking of the autopilot system. That part of the system can only be canceled by the column or applying the brake. Okay, so if you move your steering wheel, you're only canceling the auto steer, which doesn't cancel out the braking. So here's another situation no sunlight directly hitting us, and this time it actually apply brake there, and you hear people in the background. Um, causing a un unease feeling, especially when you're cruising at 65, 75 miles per hour, anything faster than that, it feels really jerky and you lunge slightly forward. It doesn't feel good, and especially when it's unexpected. So in cases like that, when I drive autopilot, my recommendation is have your foot between your brake and your accelerator pedal. I usually put it on the accelerated pedal more often lately because of the phantom braking. When it does happen, I would punch the accelerator and that will override the system temporarily. And then you can use the column and cancel it at the same time. And in that case, you can prevent yourself from possibly getting rear ended. When I'm on the autopilot, I have to admit, I'm disengage with driving and you tend to forget that you still need to pay attention, right? So understand your surrounding. And when you're on the autopilot, you're cruising at a constant speed. There's usually a vehicle pretty close to you if you're on the fast lane. And in that situation, if you slam the brake, they might not have a fast reaction time enough to, to react and you might get rear-ended. Something to think about and be cautious about. So I'm just raising this as a concern I have with autopilot. Hopefully in future firmware, they'll fix this. Um, if pe more people complain about it, again, you can report this by pushing uh, the speak button and you, know, you can uh, indicate that you want to report a bug and state 
what happened. And Tesla eventually will get to it. I don't know when they get to it. It's just get lost in this hidden recorded system. Um, we've done it in the past. It does take some time, but eventually if one of these video make it out there to Tesla and if uh, a lot of people raise the awareness, they should be able to address it. But if only a few people are complaining about it, most likely it's not going to be addressed um, properly. So just be careful out there when you're using autopilot. Don't be too reliant on it. Know what to do when you run into phantom braking. Know your uh, column well on how to cancel autopilot when you need to. And that should keep you and your family and your passengers safe as well as people around you. So again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Remember to subscribe. And if you're on the market for a Tesla, check out the description for some promo codes and also free supercharging credits as well as unlimited supercharging for inventory vehicle. Catch you all next time.